I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my snapshot for you, Aries, for the week, April the 13th. Now, you have a new moon in your sign this week, so it's a great time for you. It's a whole new start. It's on the 18th, so it's towards the end of the week. And uh, there's still activity going on in your sign. We've got Uranus, of course, there for the long haul, slow moving planet. The sun is still. Um, in your sign, Mercury is going to move out this week into your next sign, and this is your solar second house. So, if you've been waiting on news around money, then that can come through this week. There's also a sextile with Mercury and Neptune later in the week, too. And Neptune is in the sign before you, and Mercury in the sign after you. So, the energy is right there, uh, you know, very strong energy so you want to see with this it's with this aspect um, it's <clears throat> very optimistic very imaginative your intuitive and imaginative senses are going to be heightened you want to be careful that you don't see a situation the way you want to see it rather than the way it is but it's certainly a nice aspect that can you know Heighten your imagination. Great time to set your goals, particularly with the new moon, and a, a, you know, great time to really get involved in your work more. Particularly as Pluto is going retrograde this week in your solar tenth house, all to do with business. That gives you an opportunity to consolidate, rethink where you are, tweak, and get things ro rocking and rolling. Okay, um, and. Uh, Jupiter in your fifth house which is uh, direct now it really is a good vibration for you to meet somebody on more of a more romantic nature so it's not all about work okay have a great week I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching